Spectrum Resonance. This data coming to you live from the cosmos. <laughs> and today's being beautifully engaging awesome moments fall upon January 15, 2019. And if no one's told you yet, Happy New Year. See, finding resonance in our today's society where we are bombarded with frequencies from microwaves to cell phones to TVs to car horns to sounds and music to all these other things that are, say, man-made or they throw you off your, your natural biorhythm. Every heart, every kidney, every organ in your body has a specific frequency that is endowed with, that, that it beats at you know, that it resonates with. So, finding other frequencies who aid you in the alignment of that particular organ or body part or emotion helps the balance. And who don't want balance? So, the cosmic calendar. The cosmic calendar is broken down like this. Our universe is made of sound and vibrations. Everything is moving. Everything is vibrations. And finding resonance within that sound or that frequency is how we best communicate with it. So as we rotate beautifully throughout the cosmos with our Fibonacci trajectory, we ring like a singing bowl. And as the ringing of this tone, overtones and undertones fluctuate, it's identified in time. And these cosmic studies or how we understand which frequency is at optimum resonance on a daily basis. Basically, which sound or which pitch is most resonant for that day. As reflections of the universe, <laughs> I am, you are, we are all. We use these tools as resources to find resonance with Earth. Simple, right? So, Today's resonance is Tuesday the 15th, 2019. And we're going to start off with the color. The color that is at top speed resonance today is red and blue. So rocking a red shirt, red tank top, any kind of accents or you know embellishments of your outfit helps you vibe a little higher, you know, within the frequency. Resonant crystal is copal, lapis azuli, garnet, and solidite. Some of my favorites. And if you're looking for a place to get some authentic stones and bracelets and crystal jewelry, look no further than One Tribe's Amali Body. Check it out. The link will be below. And also, if you're in the Columbia area, check out Allen's Gems and Rocks in West Columbia. Link will also be down below. The frequency of the day is 1152, 1152, which takes us to my, one of my favorite apps to use to find a pinpoint frequency. It's called in-track tuning. And that frequency is, bam. That note is actually D5 resonating A, at 300 or 432 hertz. The herb for today, man, is bergamot, clover, and sage. Great for burning and putting into your herbal teas for top speed resonance. I am Curtis Aru bringing you the daily spectrum resonance. Keep vibing high at top speeds. Keep vibing in the resonance. Check out the video. Preceding this, 
find resonance, take out your notes, because there's always some juicy stuff, and I know that it's in resonance with you. Keep vibing in resonance. Hold it. So first thing is, time is frequency. There's no rush today. You can watch this for the rest of your existence if you wish. And it's all that sometimes the expectations that we think about in our minds that others have of us that don't allow us to transcend into what we truly need to transcend into. So we won't allow that to happen today. And I'll take it at the pace of how knowledge should flow. Time is frequency. Okay? Now, the current concept of time that you see on the clock seems to have nothing to do with frequencies. <laughs> it seems to have to do with getting to the job, picking up somebody, jobs, work. The clock seems to have been solely invented to let you know <laughs> when you need to get to work and what time it is. It seems to not be connected at all to our personal vibratory frequency unless you look at it just so much more deeper. But the truth is, brothers and sisters, that time is actually a frequency. And what this means is, is that your high vibratory ancestors are in the future. As you continuously bring up your vibration, you actually connect more, you amplify, and this puts you in contact, if you may, with all that you knew not while you were in division. So high vibratory frequency brings you into a united field where you become aware of things that you weren't aware of before. And that's why many things are actually synonymous for high frequencies knowledge, intelligence, crystals, right? Like if you really measure this stuff on an oscilloscope, you know, we love to mate our metaphysics with our physics, with our engineering. You measure frequencies on the oscilloscope, you'll know what high frequencies are, gases. These kind of high frequencies also reside in a certain space in our time, <laughs> literally. And it is the space in which they reside in that is governed by their frequency. And so too for us, it is the space that we reside in, mentally, physically, and spiritually, that determines where we reside. And even if we pick up our mental frequency, but our spiritual and our physical frequencies are still low, they serve to pull the rest down. There would need to be a complete unity in the field for you to be able to accelerate especially to make it beyond many of the fields that are out there. And so what this kind of looks like is like this. Mind, body, soul, and not necessarily in that order. They oscillate. And that if you can't get these two to agree, <laughs> the wheel won't turn. <laughs> you can have this one going in this direction, this one going in this direction, but because this one will be going in this direction, it will slow things down. And in fact, you can place damage on this one by struggling against it. <laughs> so some have allowed their physical frequency center to overthrow their spiritual frequency centers and mental frequency centers, and they've stripped and ripped these other two forces and have a hard time re-engaging them have a hard time getting balanced, okay? Now they love to show you balance like this. They always show you that two sides, right? And when we visualize balance in our minds, we sometimes think of those two sides and we often don't think about what is balancing it in between, right? Like just like those scales, right? Right, like those scales, there is this. <laughs> it's not just this and this, okay? So having that third point of balance is central, literally, to your ability to jettison wherever you want, to actually use your vehicle, okay? Your chariot, as it's called. However, 
you could see what's going on here on the planet. Our planet, which I feel is going from the third dimension to the fifth dimension. The real truth. Free energy technology will spark a spiritual revolution and heal our planet. Everybody that's on Earth? It's definitely have changed my life. Once you understand how the world really works. And even my mother is now starting to become more open and um, we've given her some of the supplements and it's been really good. So uh, it's just been an amazing journey and I'm glad to be a part of Activating everything. Activating the DNA and to have great enjoyment doing the it. The deepest secrets within man, DNA repairment, full body activation. Teaching us about unlocking our unlimited potential, our life's purpose. But just know that we're actually here, we're real people. What's your name? Tell us your name. My name is Serena Shinokun and I'm four years old. It's all right, family, don't be shy. Jump in and say hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Open it. The connection yeah. that we shared over the years and, you know, to see the family coming in full circle is just powerful. Like, <laughs> how do you turn on the DNA? That's a good question. Very good question. You know, everything out here works on energy. They, they didn't manage to sell everybody power. All of the lights, everything that we're operating and using, it's all running on gas and power. For me to step on this pedal, I gotta go to them. And that is more powerful than anything. <laughs> that is the power. <laughs> it's literal. All I want is my dreams just be like it's gonna be the future. All I want is so there's a lot of power here and the opportunity to serve such a space and to really integrate. Wholeness tribe. Wholeness and balance, beautiful tribe. Wholeness, wholeness, love, peace, peace and love. What's up, fam? A whole family. Wholeness. The, the monatomics and the ancestors. Wholeness and balance, vibration, try. Be the change that you're inspired to see. Wholeness, family, wholeness, wholeness. Has empowered me to take control over my decisions, over my sovereignty, over my balance. Wholeness. Wholeness, tribe. Wholeness, secrets within us. It's not so simple. My name is Savan. I'm the developer. I'm here to welcome you to a platform that's been going for nine years. Join us as we unlock our potential together. I love you. Wholeness family. Still kind of blown away by that experience. It was awesome. <laughs> ah, I am allowing all that is and the energy of the multiverse to move through me. I was like going through some very turbulent times. There's so much more deep meaning for all of this. And it's it's safe me at times. All of you have been helping us so much. It was beautiful connecting with you all yesterday. In this tribe. We can create a world, I believe, today. All walks of life. Accessing and embodying the metaphysical knowledge to truly be the masters of our reality. Into the highest states of consciousness. Energetically, physically, mentally, and spiritually to help you break through all realities. It's the peak of self-mastery. It's also the epitome of what unity really is. Um, you don't hear about any of this information at school. This time technology is actually helping us. End of the day, it all starts with you. Technology just brought us closer. Where does the sun come from? A wonderful way to activate your DNA is to walk barefoot on the earth. It's Thank you, man. Right. It will help you uh, integrate the cosmos and the earth. Barefoot on earth is a wonderful way to activate the DNA. I always wonder what my future would be like. The whole world is on the eve of a new consciousness, a new power. But most important is the quality of life that you live and the quality of the love that you share. <sighs> the quality of that love is why you come here to Earth. We'll see you on the other side. The secret energy has literally shown me the way back to myself. So many of you have missions. Wholeness. Send you so much love. Purposes. Wholeness. But you all come for love. Wholeness. And so a new civilization is being born. Wholeness. What the churches, the religions, may have hidden away. This is the advancement of your DNA.